That's Megan Rapino, the former World Cup MVP and political lightning rod. Rapino is a Colin Kaepernick disciple, constantly kneeling during our national anthem. She said America oppresses people and is riddled with racial profiling and police brutality. Her abrasive and self-centered style was divisive. Rapino had gone Hollywood. After an invitation to the Trump White House to celebrate the team's last World Cup victory, here's what she said. I'm excited about um, going to the White House. I'm not going to the White House. No, I'm not going to the White House. Well, now she's not going to the Biden White House either. Because with the game coming down to penalty kicks, Megan Rapino choked. I mean, this is like a sick joke. For me personally, I'm just like, this is dark comedy. I missed a penalty. This is the, the balance to the beautiful side of the game, I think. This is just a continuation of a video I did a few days ago. Recently, Alexi went viral after CNN lashed out. According to this article, United States soccer legend Alexi Lalas has won that the rigs of this team becoming irrelevant is time. After several players refused to sing the national anthem throughout the Women's World Cup, Alexi is one of a number of former players who have vented their frustration toward the team that was knocked out following a dramatic penalty shot out defeat to Sweden. If you remember, we did a couple of videos pertaining to this. Alexis sent this out on Twitter and CNN seemed not to be happy with this. She said the truth. The team will become irrelevant if they proceed with this. I don't know why CNN was so angry after this freeze. This team has a inspired sort of a flood of armchair analysts who are chiming in, including people who know nothing about yes. soccer, some who do. Uh, former President Donald Trump uh, posted a, a rant on Truth Social. He said, in part, woke equals failure. Uh, the former U.S. men's national team player turned commentator Alexi Lawless tweeted, don't kill the messenger. This team is polarizing. Politics, causes, stances, and behavior have made this team unlikable to a portion of America. I mean, we should note uh, that his record, if you put it up against, say, uh, Megan Rapinoe's, it pales quite in comparison. Uh, but what do you say to critics? Yes. Who are saying that this is a team that lost because they're too woke or, or are they just do i mean is there what do you think about that i completely disagree i i think the reason that this team was unable to do the greatness that it's used to doing has nothing to do with any of the things that these people mentioned i think that having so many rookies on the team in positions of expectation of carrying the team with uh, Sophia Smith, for example, Trinity Rodman up top, expecting them to score a bunch of goals when it's their first time playing on a national team major tournament. Um, Vladko playing, you know, different lineups a lot. I don't think it has anything to do with the amazing achievements that we have done off the pitch and the way that we have as a group stood up for those who can't speak up for themselves. That's something that we have done for 30 years and obviously has not been something that has hindered us in winning championships. We will win again, whether it's in the Olympic Games or the World Cup. In the future, we will. And we are the standard bearers for women all over this world. And if that's what it takes to be able to help other women in this country and other countries stand up and, and fight for what they deserve, then I, for one, am very proud of being someone who does that and I hope the team will continue to do so and I will do my part in that as well. Yes, this is what Alexis sent out on Twitter. Don't kill the messenger. The US soccer team is polarizing. Politics, causes, stances and behavior have made this team unlikable to a portion of America. This team has built its brand and has Derive its power from being the best and winning, if that goes away, the risk becoming irrelevant is high. Somebody replied, Will, watching American celebrate and American laws. That is it. It is something that was never happening. 
out of a sudden, now it is surfacing like never before. People now celebrate the loss of the team. Ask yourself this question, why? When you take a look at CNN going after Trump, after his stand partaking to the team, you will see it clearly. Someone who actually have reason to do same, even if you love the team, what is the meaning of you going to represent your country? Then you cannot stand up for the flag. That is the most annoying part that I realize with this. You are portraying a different kind of image of the country to the world. What I've observed with different different themes is not like this. No matter your grievances, political reasons, don't carry it to the world stage. Keep that at home. That is one thing they need to emulate. They don't need to bring in their political stands into football. If you continue to do so, you realize you are not being appreciated no matter how hard you are working. Alexis sent it out. Forget about all these. The team will become irrelevant. Buddy, have experienced this team for a number of years on and off the field and what it is and what it isn't and the way that you see it right now. When you look at this team, especially in the cold, harsh light of day of going out in the round of 16, historically the worst finish of any women's national team in a World Cup. What are some of the things that you either see now or you saw when you were with the team that in that moment you said, this is not going to end well? Well, I think when I first got onto the team, there was just a level of respect for everybody there, for coaches, for other players, um, for support staff, you know, massages, trainers, doctors. And as the years have kind of gone by, it's, it's little stuff, but it kind of amounts to a, big things and ultimately, you know, effects, effects on the field. But, you know, if you've got a massage, let's say, for example, you, your name's signed up on a certain time and you decide to not show up and you decide to not text the massage therapist or tell them, hey, I'm running a few minutes late. Um, and they're just sitting there and they have to just sit there and they have to kind of swallow that and not really say anything to the player that's done that. So there's just things like that. It's like, you know, trash around the field. It's throwing your warm up. Yes, let me say this. When I address certain videos like this, what I usually see on the comment section sometimes is laughable. Somebody will say, why can't you address some of the issues plaguing Africa? If you look through all the videos I put out here, you will not see a single video I talked about Africa. Reason being, I don't know so much about what is happening, where I study, where I have been, spend half of my life you know doing this so i cannot go and involve in things i know less i will not be able to express myself putting out videos here is just to enlighten you on what i see on daily basis so if you don't appreciate what i'm doing please just 